Hey friends, welcome back to another cash envelope stuffing for my sinking funds. So by the title of today's video, you can see we are doing a $175 low income cash envelope stuffing for low income budgets. So today I'm going to be cash stuffing a total of five of my sinking funds. So if you want to see how I'm using the cash envelope method or the cash envelope system to help me save and budget for my sinking funds or future expenses, then just keep on watching today's video. Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Shadavia and this is Oshi Budgets, where I do talk about all things money, budgeting, and savings related. On my channel, you will see some things like budget with me's where I share my real numbers. I do cash envelope stuffings, some savings challenges, and I also give you guys debt and savings updates on my own personal financial journey. So if any of that is content that you may be into, then go ahead and do me a favor and give today's video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget that notification bell so you never miss the next time I post. As I mentioned today, we going to be cashed up in for my sinking funds. So let's go ahead and get straight into this cash count and then we can start cash up in my sinking funds binder. So again, we have a total of 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So $175 that I'm going to be putting away for my sinking funds. And you guys know, if you've been following my channel, I like to make the most of my money. So you will see me cashed up for five of the six categories that I do have in my sinking funds binder. Now, the categories that I have in my particular binders are ones that I feel like are very common for you to have. But if you're new to budgeting and you want to know what seeking funds you need um, to help you protect your budget, I did create a video on that and I'll make sure to link it in the description box below to give you an idea of what kind of categories you may need in your budget or what things you may need to look for um to save for some future expenses or your sinking funds so let's go ahead and get the binder um open and then we can start again cash stuffing so the first category or cash envelope that i have in my sinking funds binder is my vacate envelope now um this one is very self-explanatory so um anytime i decide that i'm gonna go on vacation or i want to plan a vacation Traveling is something that I really, really want to start doing more of. I've been saying it for too long. Um, this year, I had some plans to travel for my birthday um, out of the country. Actually, I got my passport last year, but I have yet to use it. Um, so I still want to travel for my birthday. I think it's just going to be in country just for my own budget sake and time sake um, since I'm so last minute with everything. Um, but for today's cash envelope stuffing, I did go ahead and budget out $20, which may not seem like a lot, you guys. Um, but this $20 is just going to be added to this envelope. And as time goes on, um, once I'm actually more sure of, you know, where I'm going, how much I'll need, then obviously I will intensify, you know, how much I'm actually cashed up and into the binder. So um, today we have 10, 20, 30, 40. So $40 in our vacay sinking funds envelope. So let me go ahead and update my tracker as well. And then that way um, I can just make sure I'm staying on top of everything. So... That is our vacay envelope. Today is, this video is gonna go out on the six. So we're gonna add the $20 there. And then now again, we have $40 into our sinking funds binder. Now the next cash envelope that I have in my sinking funds binder is my car maintenance envelope. And I'm actually opting not to cash stuff for this um, cash envelope today for my sinking funds. And the reason is because if you check out any of my other budget with me videos or cash envelope uh, videos, then you'll know that anytime I have money left over in my car envelope, which is in my variable expense binder, and that just takes care of, you know, daily or weekly spending. But if I do in fact have some gas um, money or gas 
um, budget left, then I'll just roll it over to my car maintenance sinking funds. And so because I've been doing that for ever it seems like um it has really paid off so as you can see here let me turn it so you guys can see but there is already 133 dollars in there um i'm comfortable with that amount it doesn't take care of everything i don't feel like you know i'll right now let me say that right now i don't have all of the money that i need to just be able to take care of you know any and everything under the sun but I just have to be realistic with myself. And so one of the things that I know for sure is coming up in the month of August is my car registration. Um, and so as soon as I get that, which will probably be sometime between the end of this month and next month, I can go ahead and take care of that hassle free. And I don't have to worry about, you know, taking money out of my budget from somewhere else. Um, this will also take care of any car maintenance, like uh, getting a car wash, um, oil change, any of that. So right now I feel comfortable with the amount that's in my car maintenance. Um, again, not taking care of everything, but uh, enough for me to not be able to cash stuff with uh, such a low amount um, of cash that I have today. So that's my car maintenance envelope. Now, the next cash envelope that I am gonna stuff for it in my sink and funds binder is my date night envelope. Now, <clears throat> this one, again, self-explanatory, uh, very, very common for people to have if you do have a spouse or a partner or you just are dating yourself. Um, you can you know, create a date night envelope for yourself or a self-care envelope and it just put it just allows you to put money aside to be able to treat yourself um if you're a you know spouse um some and you have kids like us sometimes we forget that we also need to take time out to spend time with each other and not always just being as a family unit uh unit so with today's cash envelope stuffing of my sink and funds i did go ahead and budget out 35 dollars so i'm gonna go ahead and put 20 30 35 dollars to what we already have in our um date night envelope and let's see how much not much um because we did <clears throat> use some of the funds in there but let's see we have 20 30 40 45 50 so now we have 50 dollars um set aside for a date night and this is for when i treat this is not when my husband decides that we're gonna go on a date and he's gonna pay for it this is simply when i decide hey let's go on a date or if we're there i'm gonna be like you know i'll treat it this time or i'll take care of it this time um and so now we have 50 dollars in our date night sinking funds now, um, the next cash envelope that I am going to be cash stuffing, which is going to get a majority of my um, cash today, is for my kids. Uh, so, as I mentioned earlier, or if you've been following my channel for a while, then you know I'm a family of five. And I've come up with this, not strategy, but I would say plan more so where um, every quarter, just to make it more manageable for myself, I'm gonna try to put aside $100 per kid, and we have three. So that means that every three months, I need at least $300 in this cash envelope to be able to update their wardrobe, get them new shoes, undergarments, whatever they're needing at that time. Um, not necessarily saying that every single three months they'll need something else, but I love the idea of being able to have the funds set aside for them. Um, so with it being summer, I do need to go ahead and go through their clothes. Um, and, you know, by the end of this month, I need to have at least, again, at least or minimum $300 to be able to get them a few items. And then, you know, school will start in August and we'll need to come up with a game plan with that as well. So today's cash stuffing, sinking funds for my kids is actually gonna get $95. And that is because as you can see here, and I'll need to, I'm gonna take a tracker from the back. Um, I have $105 that's already in here. So when I put the $95, it should take it up to 200, which means that, um, 
let's see 50 90 95 so it should take it up to 200 and then that means for the month of june i just need to make sure i set aside at least another 100 dollars to um reach that 300 dollars limit or goal amount i guess um so again for the kids we have 50 100 20 40 60 80 90 95 200 so 200 dollars now that we have set aside for the kiddos um which we could probably even start you know shopping now or looking and trying to decide what things they may actually need i'm gonna go back here really quick um to be able to go ahead and and start kind of pre-planning for that so i'm gonna take this one from the back because as you can see that tracker has already been filled um with just the different things that kids need you know they i feel like they always need something so today the date is going to be the sixth we are adding in 90 uh -oh, 95 dollars there we go and now we have a total of 200 dollars put aside for the children <laughs> Let's see here. Alrighty, and on to our next cash envelope that I have in my sink and funds binder, which again is another common sink and funds that a lot of people may have. Um, and that is my holidays envelope. So a lot of the holidays that my family and I celebrate are towards the ending of the year, um, but we don't typically spend a lot of money, um, because like one of the big ones, for example, is Christmas. We don't go all out for Christmas and send thousands of dollars on our children, um, on toys and things that we feel like they just don't need. We are getting older and I feel like at this point in our lives, we are more, more concerned with being able to give them experiences. So if we are gonna be planning a vacation um, for like, let's say Christmas, um, then we'll put money aside here for that. But um, Halloween, we may do like a costume um, if, you know, if we don't DIY something. But nonetheless, whatever holiday it is that you celebrate, having a sinking funds for your holidays really does help because holidays tend to be the most expensive time and the time that you actually spend the most money and so it's best to kind of plan ahead if you're able to um just by putting you know a little bit aside so just to kind of give you guys an idea of what i've you know what i've done here uh recently this year in 2023 so i started um 2023 with $25, I then put, you know, like $5 each time. Um, every time I do a sink and funds stuff in, and then you see now I'm up to $45, no $40. But today I'm gonna go ahead and put in another $5. And again, we, we still have a, a few more months before we need to, increase that or get a little bit more aggressive with saving for our holidays. Uh oh, I lost a zipper. Let me see if I can open, get this opened up really quick. There it goes. So now in our uh, holiday sink and fun, we should have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We should have a total of 45. So let's just double check 20, 30. That's gonna drive me crazy if I don't turn it. 20, 30, 35, 40, and then the one, two, three, four, five. So 45 is exactly what our tracker says. So let me go ahead and get that added back in there and then hopefully be able to find my zipper. If not, I'll just replace the, <laughs> the envelope. Um, so I updated our tracker for our holiday one. And then the last sink and fund that we're actually gonna go ahead and cash stuff for today is birthdays. Now this is not um, this is not in particular like just my birthday. This is just any birthday that we're celebrating. I know for sure later this month my uh, friend's daughter is turning six, so we'll be getting her a gift for her birthday. Um, other than that, I don't off the top of my head. I can't remember any of the 
birthdays this month but what i like to do is just put a little bit aside to be able to show up with a gift whether that's a gift card um the cash itself um i just don't like to show up empty-handed most of the time and a lot of times too uh, it doesn't have to be something super super expensive oftentimes i'm not buying an expensive gift i'm gonna let you know now um but i do like to get something right something that's useful and um, affordable and then within my budget as well so today i'm gonna go ahead and cash up the rest of the cash that i have which is another uh, twenty dollars and so let's go ahead and update our tracker as well for our birthday sinking fun i'll put that in there and so we started with zero because we recently used it. $20 there. Oh, I can't do math. Okay, and then we're um, ending our balance with $20. The other thing of fun I do have is miscellaneous. I use it for my YouTube and Amazon taxes. But since that has gotten so you know high, I've decided to put that in a high yield savings account. So I don't even cash stuff that one anymore. But that is today's uh, low income cash envelope stuffing for my sinking funds. If you made it all the way to the end of today's video, let me know what your favorite sinking funds is to save for or your favorite future expense to save for. If you enjoyed today's video, as always, please, please, please give it a big thumbs up, you guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you're supporting today's upload, leave me a red heart. And I know you made it all the way to the end and you're supporting this channel. I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.